Welcome to Washington DC, the capital of United States, where else to start your journey than at the capital of building, the magnificent seat of the US Congress. The entire White Palace designed by William Thornton was completed in 1800. It's a witness a typical American neoclassic style. The impressive Washington Monument is more than 150 meters tall. Despite looking Egyptian, the obelisk was actually made in the United States. The most visited memorial in the States is the Lincoln Memorial. Please notice the columns are at entrance. They are heavily inspired by the Doric order of ancient Greeks. Standing right at the center of temple, the 30 meters tall statue of the president commands the attention to all visitors. His famous Gettysburg address can be read on the south wall with legislative, executive and judicial branches of the United States government. He has often seen the fate of nation being decided, great civil rights marchers that shook the entire nation like in March um, uh, in 1963 on Washington, or recent women march have often started at a reflecting pool. Many of country's most important pieces of writing are stored here in the largest library in the world, with more than 2.9 million volumes spread over 883 miles of shelves. The Library of Congress holds originals of treasured documents such as Declaration of Independence. The Supreme Court sets the precedent in the nation's most pre crucial trials. It's also another example of American neoclassical style. Just look at those columns to see U.S. cosmonauts and aeronautics at the finest head of National Air and Space Museum. It has the largest collection of air and spacecraft in the world. Memorials in Washington celebrate individuals. This one is dedicated to all the soldiers who gave their lives during the uh, Second World War. A bit smaller memorial but still striking is the Korean War Memorial. It's a 19 steel statue crafted by Frank Gaylord represents nearly 6 million soldiers who fought in Korea. of war memorials is a tour to the Vietnam Memorial that was opened in 1988. Both of it was covered with name of those who, uh, who died and it honors sculpted by Robert Burks. Albert Einstein seems to have made himself comfortable here. At the Albert Einstein Memorial, the bronze statue was unveiled in 1979.
The fourth law high White House is official residence of United States President. The highly famous landmark has also played a titular role in several movies. Although he wasn't a president of the United States, the civil rights fighter Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has left an enormous impact on nation. His memorial was only finished in 2011, and the 39 meters tall Jefferson Memorial, on the other hand, was opened to public as early as 1943, with official dedication by President Roosevelt. In 1947, President Roosevelt's memorial greatest highlight is a statue of a state man and his dog. It's a great um, site to top off your visit to the city of Washington, D.C. Thank you. Subscribe. Stay tuned.